morning. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody today? We are doing episode number, I'm going to turn my ring light a little bit, but we are actually on episode number 93, and I am so grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm excited to be doing the show today. And I'm going to tell y'all what, I've been actually making juice um, all morning. Well, not all morning, for about two hours here, but I've gotten larger juice jars. And this, because I did a um, a workshop last Saturday, so I got larger jars because we serve fresh juice and we made on-site fresh juice. But what I did to get myself ready for next week, I went on and made me two gallons of my favorite juice. And then today, we're going to make an antioxidant-rich juice and these will last um, for about a week if you keep them very very cold i'm not freezing these juices this week and just wanted to tell y'all good morning everybody and i'm hoping that you are having a great week but i am making my juice because i need my vitamin c um, for next week and for every day and i hope that you all are taking care of yourselves and doing what you're supposed to do. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator so that I won't lose the nutritional value from that. But listen, guys, I hope that you've been well, been taking care of yourself. Hope that you have taken the weight loss challenge like I'm doing with my family. I started walking even more. I'm up to 1.7 miles a day. I'm excited, still doing my sit-ups, still I'm at 40, doing my knee lifts, I'm at 25 of those, and then I'm doing planks, guys, because I don't like the visceral fat, trying to get rid of that gut, but I want to tell y'all, love yourselves. That's the most important message that I can give you on today, is to love yourself. Why do you need to love yourself? Because when you love yourself, you're going to spend enough time with yourself learning about you, learning what's good for you, learning what's bad for you, learning what works for you. But you're also going to learn in loving yourself, you have to tell yourself the truth. If you're that personality that um, you can always see what's wrong with everybody else, but you can't see what's going on with you, then that means that you're not taking the time to love you because you've got to be able to do introspection, self-reflection, and process, why is it that I'm always in the middle of something? And I'm not, I'm, I'm just telling y'all, you know, I'm not going to say that some of us have never been in there. I've been there certainly because I'm the youngest of sisters. I have two sons and sometimes I can put my mouth in something, but I'm not speaking about myself this time. Thank God. But I ran into that situation this week and I just wanted to make mention of it. You know, sometimes it's not everybody else. What do we do to um, cause reactions from people? You know, what, what, what do we do in our relationships? So I want to tell us, love yourself. Love yourself first and love yourself enough to pull back and say, what did I do to cause that? disturbance in my family or in that relationship or maybe you should ask yourself why can't I stay in a relationship why can't I keep relationships is it because I'm convincing myself that it's the other person or is it because there's some work some more work that I need to do on myself and allow God to do some work on us too you know he'll allow circumstances and situations to come up in our lives to help us to become better because he's all the while at work in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. So I just want to say, let him work on you. When he speaks to you about you, then just go with him and say, God, okay, you want, you're working on that now. We talked about that before. Love yourself, give yourself a hug, take care of yourself, make sure that you are caring for you. That's the most important. I got some little friends today. Y'all see my balloons back there? I actually have seen those in Kroger's a couple of times. So I asked them, could I get those? Those are different types of apples, red apples and golden delicious apples. I'm not doing apples today, but I got those balloons because I just thought they're adorable for the juice show. I may not have them after today because I think I'm going to give them to my little nephew. Hey, Cairo. How are you today, little boy? 
you are such a sweetie pie. He's two years old and he saw a picture of my house and told his mom, I want to go to Aunt Frankie's. And I'm like, he has such a good memory. Hey, Cairo, today the show is not about him. It's not about children. It's just about all of us loving ourselves. I'm excited because I actually made some juice for me for the week. But our juice today, we're going to do an antioxidant rich juice to get rid of those free radicals because certainly we need to feed ourselves healthy, nutritious fruits and foods so that we can kill off free radicals so that we can get of, rid of inflammation and degenerative diseases. Our subject today is on calcium though, because I learned something um, I was studying and I'm realizing that calcium and low calcium um, intake is something that a lot of us that are aging, because I am 66 years old, don't mind telling my age, you know, back in the day, they used to say a woman that tells her age will tell anything. Well, the thing that I'm going to tell us is we, when we lack calcium as we age, then it causes a lot of problems for those of us who are past 50. But even if you're not past 50, you still need to get your calcium. So today, the juice that I'm making is an antioxidant rich juice, which will cause the body to absorb those necessary nutrients and minerals and vitamins that it needs. And so we're going to do the juice. I have my Nama juicer today. I'm excited because I realized this Nama baby can do four gallons of juice nonstop. And so I like the Nama. I want to say if you can get the Nama, go in the description box. There is a link to the website. I don't get um, any points or paid for promoting the Nama juicer. Not yet. But what I will do is promote it because it is a pretty good juicer. They will allow you to go on a payment plan at your budget. And I want to say I can't tell you how much it costs because the price may have gone up since I've gotten mine. And the parts are fairly inexpensive if something breaks because my um, my cap that keeps the juice in until I'm ready to release it, that broke. And so I have to order a new one of those. I like that I can go. The parts are here in less than a week. But moving right along, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what kind of juice, what type of antioxidant rich juice we're going to make today. And that is blueberries. And this is, let's see, two packages of blueberries. I have a new fruit. It's the muscadine grapes, which is a seasonal fruit because, you know, the muscadines come out um, uh, in the fall. They, they're starting to come out. And I want to tell you all something that I found out in my research. And then I don't have to repeat myself. The muscadine grape is the state fruit for North Carolina. So go and see. And um, thank you for producing this fruit for us. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful grape. I like it. And it, the benefits of it, the resveratrol um, that comes in this one grape right here, I want to tell y'all, it's really good. They, the skin is kind of tough. I'm going to bite a piece. Mm. Mm. But look at that, guys. The fruit inside is so pretty green. Mmm. And it's really, really good. I'm not going to eat the entire piece because then I won't be able to talk. But, hmm. And then we have our regular black grapes. We're going to juice those. And then I have blackberries for us today. That's two packages of the um, blackberries there. And I didn't see that little one when I washed them out. But two... Um, two packages of blackberries there. And that's one bag of black grapes. I, I just like the benefits of the dark fruits. And then, you know, we need the um, anthocyanins that are in those dark fruits and vegetables. And I really wanted to do an antioxidant rich drink because I just wanted to do a colorful, beautiful fall drink today because we are in fall. Today is September 24th already, 2023. It's almost Thanksgiving, guys, and 
it's almost um nope today is the 23rd i think 24th no it's the 24th i'm coming up on one year of being in my home and i am happy about it so thank you all for subscribing thank you for the new subscribers that are, have come on board thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing but thank you for doing what is recommended or suggested for us to do in making our juice, knowing what the benefits are, and taking care of our health. What else do we have to do? I mean, really. I mean, really. Yeah, we have our jobs to do, but we're not at work 24-7. We got to do some me time. We got to do some love on me time. And loving ourselves is making nice juice for us. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, load up the juicer and i think i'm going to do the blueberries in first because they are softer fruit remember in the nama you put the softer fruits or vegetables in first and so i'm going to go ahead and load those up i want to tell you that i've been resting this week i hope you all have and i looked at the video from the workshop that i did i'm not going to upload it because there's some information in there and people in there that i'm talking to that i don't think that they want to be on camera so I am um, just, just, yeah, I'm just re looking at that video and, and critiquing myself and just doing some things that I know are going to be good for me. What about you? Are you doing research even when I'm not doing two and three juice shows a week? Are you still making, oh, are you still making your juices even though I'm not doing a show? Um, five days a week or even two days a week are you doing that for yourself why not why haven't you been juicing why haven't you been eating clean as much as you can why haven't you replaced one thing that is so sweet and full of processed sugar and and um, refined sugar and artificial sweeteners why haven't you replaced that one thing in your diet why haven't you why haven't you been drinking more water or have you you've been drinking more water you've changed i'm so proud of you i'm excited for you because you know what we've got to take care of ourselves you started walking too i'm happy for you i am because i'm telling you what this is the only body that we have and this is really our natural mode of transportation that god gave us and we have to take care of it just like we maintain our cars just like when we take our cars in the shop for maintenance. Well, you know what? We have to do maintenance on our bodies every single day. And that is loving ourselves. You've been in the sun too? Because you know what? I've been walking outside. I know you're like, well, certainly you're not walking inside. Well, yeah, you can walk inside if you have a treadmill or you just walk through your house, you know, during the day, getting your steps in. But I've been walking outside, so I'm getting my vitamin D. and. And you know what I do? I do a prayer walk. So I have my, um, remember I told y'all that I actually do, um, I have a prayer sheet and it's a prayer petition that I've written out. And then I feed myself that word. I build myself up on that word. And so I read that as I walk and I love it because I'm, I'm building my spirit man up with the word of God. I'm building, I'm renewing my mind with the word of God. But I'm also getting the vitamin D from the sun, which once we get that vitamin D and those rays coming into our skin, what do we do? We rest for an hour to make sure that those rays and those nutrients and those electrolytes are going into our bodies. And then we take a shower. And that means we have absorbed all of those nutrients coming from the sun. I'm telling you all what, this is a very rich. Oh, my God, it's a beautiful juice, guys. And so right now it's the blueberries, blackberries, and grapes that are coming through first. And my jar here is tinted. And so once it's all juiced, I'll show it to you. Whoo, that was a lot to say. I have a lot of energy this morning, um, maybe because I'm really excited. I get to go to a celebration for a very, very, very nice pastor in the Newport News area. And um. I just want to do a shout out to happy anniversary, Pastor Bobby Holden. Um, I believe that it might be 30 some years he's been in ministry. And I want to tell y'all, he's the kind of pastor, he's just, 
he likes family and he's a good soul. He's a very kind man. And so I'm doing a shout out to him today. Happy anniversary, Pastor Bobby Holden. Um, and so I just want to say congratulations on your years in ministry. Very kind man. And um, just sending a shout out to you on today. But I'm going to go ahead and do the musc muscadine grapes, the grapes of the city, uh, the state fruit for North Carolina. You know, they use these to make wine, too. And so I think it's one of the main grapes ooh, that they use to make wine. I don't know, um, but I'm sure I've seen muscadine wine, maybe, during, uh, what is that, Easter time. Yeah. And so, anyway, we're going to talk about calcium today. I'm going to give you all the benefits of these fruits that we are juicing today because we want the antioxidants to go in and kill all free radicals. So I'm going to go ahead and give us the benefits of um, these, these fruits that I have today. And I am going to make sure that we have that information because it's very important for us to have the right information as we're taking care of our bodies and also to know that everything God made is good, everything, including you. Did you forgive yourself when you messed up this week? Did you? Did you just get up and keep it moving? Or did you lay there and sulk in it and lay in it? No, get up and shake yourself. Get up and, and you know what? Tell yourself, I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. I'm, I'm better than this. And then speak life over yourself. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You're a lender and not a borrower. You speak that until you see it manifested. That's what you do. That's how you live. That's how you have victory. And I want to say for those of you who are new in your journey with God, because sometimes you can be in church all your life, but you're new in a relationship to Jesus Christ, who is the Lord and Savior of our lives, who died for us to live a sin-free life. You know, sometimes I think that we think because we go to church, that that's that's all that's that's all that's needed. Um, I, I beg to differ. There, there's got to be a relationship in that going to church. It's you know we can be so busy going that we forget that we forget about God, right? Don't forget about Him. He's the He's the reason that we do what we do. So look at that. That is that antioxidant rich drink. And so I am. I'm not done because I, the the muscadine grapes are doing their thing. And so once they finish doing their thing, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to taste it and let us know what it tastes like. Because certainly my favorite drink, which is the grapefruit, pineapple, and raspberry um, vitamin C rich drink. I've had some of that already. That's probably why I'm a little bit hyper today. But moving right along with this juice, those muscadine grapes are coming through. I can hear the seeds crunching up. I'm going to reverse this um, Nama juicer a little bit so I can make sure that I get everything coming through. Listen, benefits of muscadine grapes. Muscadines and heart disease. Researchers have wondered for years how the French could eat a diet rich in cream, butter, and cheese, resulting in a high-fat diet equivalent to the American diet, yet the French... have a much lower incidence of heart disease than Americans. France's heart attack rate is one third that of the US. The answer is the French custom of drinking wine with their meals. Now I can't, for those of you who say you can have wine, that's, that's your choice. I, I just don't like alcohol. That's just me. I like though the grape juice um, from the grapes that they make wine from. And so that's, that's what I use right? All right, guys. And what I am going to do with the pulp that I have from this, because I've been eating that as well, I'm going to save some of the juice. And there is all of the juice today. But I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you yes or no, you can have wine. All I know is this is my unfermented wine right here. Right here. This is how I get all of the benefits from it. So this is what I call wine here. 
This is the juice. Mmm. Woo, that's powerful. Look at that. So we have, let's see, 60 ounces of juice coming in today. I'm not drinking all of that. I'm going to freeze this, though, so that I can have it once a week. So listen, I'm going to taste it, and then I'm going to tell you all the benefits, okay? Oh. Oh, my goodness. The muscadine grapes, you can taste them. They are so strong and so, 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 so good. Mmm. 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 Man. See, you can even have that with your dinner. You don't necessarily, for those of you who don't drink wine, who don't drink alcohol, all I know is that alcohol, over a period of time, strong amounts of alcohol, if you drink every single day, um, I do know that it will destroy the blood vessels that go to your heart. I do know that. So um, just be careful for those of you who say that you can have alcohol. If your doctor is recommending that you have alcohol, I can't tell you not to have alcohol. But what I do is I can have an alcohol-free drink, and it's very good for me. So let me tell you all the benefits, right? Hmm. Diabetes, so the muscadine grapes are good for heart disease, all right? Diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and weight control. Metabolic syndrome is a combination of interacting metabolic disorders, including impaired glucose tolerance, decreased insulin sensitivity, hyperglycemia, lower HDL cholesterol, known as the good cholesterol, high triglycerides, and usually elevated total cholesterol. Persons with metabolic syndrome have an increased risk of developing diabetes, heart disease, atherosclerosis, and stroke. The metabolic syndrome is an epidemic in populations that consume high-calorie diets and live a sedentary lifestyle. One, high-calorie diets. Now, we know that there are certain um, nutrients that we need on a daily basis. We need fats. We need carbs. We need protein. And most of all, we need water. But a high calorie diet is a lot of foods that are processed, a lot of foods that have preservatives, a lot of foods that have very low nutritional value and very high calories, which is, um, I call them non-nutritional foods, or I call them, um, basically what we're doing is we are malnourished. You know, we see the commercials on TV where there are children in um, third world countries who are suffering from malnutrition and so their skin and bones. And so we believe for some reason that because we have the weight on us that we're not malnourished. Well, even obesity can be a sign of malnourishment because we're not eating nutritious foods, fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, beans, grains, meat. Those are all nutritious foods, but it's how we're preparing it. And high carbohydrate foods, and those are those um, bad carbs that come from white flour products, pasta, you know, the macaroni and cheese stuff, the, the spaghetti, um, those, those items, the breads that are really made with white flour that in our country, in America, we're getting a lot of processed foods. And so all of the nutri nutrients have been removed from the white flour. So therefore, we're not getting the nutrients that we need. We're getting full, we're getting bigger, but we're not getting nutrients. So that's why I suggest that with our daily nutritional intake, let's incorporate some juice because you're getting fresh juice that you're making yourself. You know what's going in it and you're getting the benefits from it, okay? I'm just here to help us make informed decisions when we go about making those necessary changes in our life because there is an obesity problem in our country. That's why my family and I are on this lose 10 pounds by, by December so that we'll know we're tracking what we're doing, the changes that we're making. Again, I had to incorporate um, for my tracking 
I had to incorporate, again, not eating past 8, 8.30 at night. It's working. I had to also incorporate eating pears because pears are full of fiber, but they also give you a feeling of fullness. I also had to incorporate drinking more water to help flush out the toxins that are in my body and then drinking my fresh juices that are putting those nutrients back in my body that I am losing um, from eating non-nutritious foods, right? All right, guys. Uh, the muscadine grapes help with diabetes and then helps with weight control. Abdominal obesity and hypertension are often present with metabolic sy syndrome. So they're saying this, um, the fat around our midsection in over 12,000 people, they did a test, increases in weight to hip ratio, explained the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill because muscadine grapes come from North Carolina. So this report was put out by the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill because that's their state fruit, right? All right. Drinking, I'm not going to say wine, but I am going to say drinking grape juice with meals is shown to have a greater health benefit than drinking um, just wine or grapefruit or grape juice by itself. We know that we cannot live off of the fruit alone. Now, if we are going on a, a special fast and we're allowed to have 100% juice, then why not make you a large amount of juice um, for the week or for the month that you are fasting? And that way you are getting the nutrients back in your body. Uh huh. Let me see. They prevent cancer. These muscadine grapes do. The, they help with longevity, meaning you're healthier, leaner, and you live up to 30% longer when you have what is called resveratrol that's in um, these muscadine grapes. They help with mental function, and then the, they remove the oxidative stress, which is the free radicals. That's why we're doing this um, antioxidant-rich drink today. They are... Yep, the antioxidants fight the free radicals. They are good for skin care in and out because you know that we have those inner linings of the body. We have the collagen, we have the capillaries in the body, but it all helps with the skin inside and out. We have an aligning in our digestive tract that comes from our throat all the way down. Even there's a lining in our mouth that protects the nerve endings and the um, cells that are in our mouth. Uh, there is so much the tissues that are in our mouth. So there's an inner lining and an outer lining that these muscadine grapes help protect. They are nutraceuticals from the muscadine grape. Research continues to show the health benefits of the muscadine because of the resveratrol and other antioxidants so plentiful in this fruit. They are saying that um, it's just basically that resveratrol that's in the muscadine. But these are some of the other benefits, and I'm just going to run through them quickly. They're rich in antioxidants, not only because of the resveratrol, but muscadine grapes are powerful antioxidant activity due to their high phenolic content. These grapes help protect cells from harm and delay aging thanks to their high antioxidant content. They protect against they protect against inflammation, cardiovascular disease, dementia, and other debilitating conditions. There is an anti-inflammatory agent in these muscadine grapes. Um, consumption of muscadine grapes has been linked to decreased inflammation edema, and the risk of developing a number of inflammatory disorders. The anti-inflammatory effect of these grapes can be attributed to phytoconstituents like resveratrol. Don't forget the resveratrol. It's the same thing that's in, um, that they're saying with people who have heart conditions and you are on an aspirin a day because of the resveratrol that's in that aspirin. Well, what about a cup of grape juice a day, homemade grape juice made in your juicer, 
cleaned by your hands, handpicked by you at the grocery store, you're doing something besides putting a pill in your system that's that's affecting your liver. So this resveratrol rich grape juice that we can make ourselves is helping to cleanse the liver, but it's also protecting the body, protecting the cells. Um, it fights stomach bacteria. Muscadine grapes have quercetin in them, which is an anti-inflammatory that can help with inflammation caused by helicobacter pylori infection. While it might not work to stop helicobacter pylori from growing, it can help reduce and stop inflammation caused by the pylori infection. So it's going to stop the inflammation. So what it's doing is it's going in and arresting that bacteria, um, that pylori infection that could be growing in your gut. It's arresting it and causing it not to spread any further. So these muscadine grapes, and what I might suggest is you make a big batch of it, because I think that's what I'm going to do while these grapes are in season so that I can freeze it and have it throughout the year. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they're good for your heart because of the polyphenols, because of the flavonoids, phenolic acid, and the resveratrol are all found in these particular grapes. They help lower the amount of bad cholesterol and stop atherosclerosis from happening, a serious cardiac situation. With other proanthocyanins, resveratrol may also lower the risk of ischemic heart disease. A lot of these diseases I've never heard of, but you may know somebody that's dealing with these heart conditions and they are taking an aspirin or they're taking um, these beta blockers and warfarin and all of these things to help with heart issues. And I want to tell y'all, just grape juice. God made it for us. I think that's one of the things that makes me um, very, very sad. Even when I do my workshops, and my workshops are done mostly in the house of God and where people come and worship him. But I'm finding that we lack knowledge. And the Bible says we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We're allowing somebody else to do research for us, to feed us whatever they want, even in the foods that's prepared in the stores. When we go and buy prepackaged foods, we're not looking at the nutritional value. We're not looking at the product ingredients. We're just looking at the convenience of it. Well, inconvenience yourself. I'm going to say it again. Inconvenience yourself to take care of yourself. Because if we don't take care of ourselves now, on the back end of this thing, somebody else is going to have to be taking care of us. And if we're not taking care of ourselves to have a better quality of life, the, all of our monies that we have worked so hard in our younger years is going to go to doctors and medication. Yeah, it is. It is. We won't have anything to live off of because we have not taken care of our health now. Let's take care of ourselves. Please, I'm begging us, please, please stop. Stop pretending that the doctor really cares about you so much that they're going to give you a glass of grape juice when you come into their office and say, here, drink this while you sit in this, in this um, 15 minutes that I'm going to give you. That's going to cost your insurance that you're paying for. No, they're going to give you a prescription on a piece of paper that you're going to take and ingest in your system that has no beneficial nutritional value at all. So I'm asking us, I'm actually begging us today, please, can we just please stop? Stop pretending like we are really taking care of ourselves when we know we're not. Come on, y'all, let's love ourselves. Can we do that? This um, muscadine grapes, they lower the risk of diabetes. Muscadine grapes have a low glycemic load and glycemic index, so they could be part of a diet to help people with diabetes if they're eaten in moderation. Again, we cannot just drink, make juice and drink juice all day unless we're fasting to, to flush the body out of the toxins. 
that we have built up because of poor nutrition. But this can't be something that you just drink all day, every day. No, you drink a glass of it. That's your nutritional intake. Now, if you have a degenerative disease, by all means, but also eat your fruits and your vegetables that are rich in all the other nutrients and the minerals that the body needs. They, grapes increase cognition, getting rid of that brain fog. Grapes help healthy adults think better and feel better. When the grapes were given to people with mild cognitive impairment, they were able to remember things better. Grapes and other foods are high in antioxidants like berries and walnuts, and they help your brain and muscles work better in the long run. They aid in bone strength. Muscadine grapes help the body use calcium better. You see, this is why I love God. I'm getting full now because I know that it is him that is assisting me to do these, these videos. Even if I'm only doing one a week, it's okay. Because I wanted to talk to us about aging and lack of calcium. But do y'all see this? The muscadine grapes helps the body to absorb the calcium when we eat it. And when we take the supplements for some people who need the calcium supplements, because your bones are so brittle. Muscadine grapes help the body use calcium better and speed up bone turnover. It has been found that the pro, proanthocyanins in grape seeds help bones to grow. So that means that, see, I put the grape seeds in this drink. So I am drinking not only the grape skin, the, the resveratrol in the grape, in the grape seeds, all of that was crushed in this juicer. Some of it's still in the pulp, but for everything that I did, look at how much pulp. That's not a lot of pulp. And I'm going to mix some of that grape juice and I am going to put this in small containers and freeze it so that I can have a snack when I am wanting something sweet in the evenings after I've had my dinner. All right, listen at this. When muscadine grape seeds are added to a high calcium diet, it can stop different kinds of bone loss. The seeds, y'all. The seeds. Just the seeds. So what if we did have just, we save the seeds or we chew the seeds. For me, it's hard to chew them. But what if we just got something and we pound and crush them and then we added that to our diet? It was also found that the pro, proanthocyanins help with osteoarthritis. Muscad the muscadine grapes are indigenous to the southeastern United States, and muscadine wine has become increasingly fashionable due to the high levels of antioxidants it contains. The, more, the muscadine grape, more than any other variety, is packed with antioxidants. The seeds of muscadine grapes are the only source of resveratrol among all grape varieties. Did y'all hear that? The seeds of muscadine grapes are the only source of resveratrol among all grape varieties. This antioxidant is found only in the skin of other types of grapes. Numerous studies have shown that this antioxidant can have positive effects on your health including lowering your risk of developing chronic diseases, enhancing your cognitive abilities, and enhancing your skin's and gut's immunity. So if you're having, um, what, what is that called? If you have a skin disorder, um, where you're having problems with your skin, dry skin and eczema, then what about adding this muscadine to your list of foods that you eat buy them in bulk during this season that they're out you can know now you can order fruit online and have it shipped to your door no matter what season is in because it's in season somewhere and you can order it i'm just asking us to be 
aware of what's available to us. But I am excited that we know that the muscadine grape actually helps us to um, absorb calcium better. Ah, let's see. So that's the blackberry. That's the, the grapes. And I'm going to put that in my grape area. I see. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give us the benefits of the black grapes. Because we have muscadine and we have blacks. Um, they're rich in antioxidants. They protect against diseases like cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and heart disease. They can also help you feel fuller faster. Resveratrol in the skin of these grapes and antioxidant contained in grapes is believed to offer exceptional protection for the heart and brain. It also known to help the body fight cancer, viruses, and inflammation. You know COVID is still going around. That's considered a virus. Why not get you some grapes, everybody? These grapes also improve cardiovascular health which is the resveratrol again and the skin of these grapes improve our heart health. Um, scientists think that resveratrol found in the skins of red and black grapes is what gives this red drink its healthy heart healthy properties. They protect against cancer. They protect the, they slow Alzheimer's disease. Um, they're showing that lower uh, these grapes lower the risk of memory loss, improve memory and brain function. They help to fight obesity. The resveratrol and another compound in black grapes called um, T. rostilbin have been demonstrated anti-obesity effects in lab animals. Both ingredients seem to help the body improve gut bacteria and regulate energy, but further testing is needed. So. Try it out and see if it's helping your energy level. I do know this, that um, the grape juice that we buy in the jar at the store that's on the shelf actually um, lowers your iron. Mm -hmm. it makes you very fatigued. All right. Uh, Black grapes are 82% water, which keeps them low in calories despite being high in natural sugars. All that water is filling and hydrating for the body. In other words, grapes are sweet, but still low calorie and fat free. They listen at this. There are eight carbs in um, eight grams of carbs in the grape. It is seven grams of sugar, but that is the natural sugar that is produced from the grapes. It's the natural sugar that is produced from the grapes because this is a fruit and it is very sweet and it is very good for us, even for those with diabetes because of the um, nutritional benefits. It goes in and brings healing to the cells, killing off free radicals. It brings healing to the cells. Black grapes contain the following vitamins and minerals. They contain potassium, vitamin K, vitamin C, manganese and copper. Now, um, things to watch out for. Compounds present in grapes may slow blood clotting. Although grapes haven't been shown to cause problems in humans, you might want to limit your intake of grapes if you have a bleeding condition or if you are preparing for surgery. Also with children, um, grapes can uh, produce a choking hazard because they are, you know, they can get um, caught in the throat, even for adults. If we don't chew things properly, they can get caught in our throats as well. All right. And that is on the grapes. I'm going to move on to the blackberries and the raspberries as well. Blackberries, the benefits, it's an antioxidant because this is an antioxidant rich juice. Antioxidants, vitamins and minerals found in blackberries deliver a variety of health benefits. Um, anthocyanins, that's the colorful fruits. They have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. They combat diabetes and certain kinds of cancer. These are the blackberries. Blackberries improve digestion. Blackberries are an excellent source of insoluble fiber. Fiber plays an important role in the digestive process, increasing the bulk of stews to make them easier. Now that's the blackberry 
if we eat them and I want to say again take your pulp um, one lady at the conference that I went to she said that she took her um, carrot when she makes her carrot juice and she takes the pulp from the carrot juice and makes cornbread because we can have cornmeal that's one um, product that we can have you can even mix that in with almond flour because it's made from almonds so yeah that almond flour is going to give you your calcium that you need and then the pulp from the grapes that's a nice muffin to make right all righty um and then the fiber in that helps lower your cholesterol because you're flushing out the system okay a diet high in fiber can ease constipation which is the most common cause of gastrointestinal problems um, these blackberries are one of several types of berries believed to have a positive impact on insulin resistant and triglyceride levels. They reduced obesity. Why? Because research suggests that an increased intake of blackberries may address obesity by increasing insulin sensitivity and helping the body burn fat more effectively. All right. Um, these blackberries have vitamin E, vitamin K, calcium. Calcium again. We're talking about calcium today. Manganese, uh, two grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fiber, and seven grams of sugar. And I'm okay with that. They help with your digestive health. Excellent source of insoluble fiber again. Um, plays an important role in the digestive process by increasing the bulk of stews to make them easier to pass. A diet high in fiber can ease constipation which is the most common gastrointestinal issue. I think I'm repeating myself. But um, that's with the black berries. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. We're going to go to the, uh-oh, I think I pushed that down. The blueberries. Blueberries. Uh-huh. That's it. I put that in the wrong thing. I was beginning to wonder how did I have two places in my book for blackberries, but I didn't. I had it put it in the wrong place. The blueberries, guys. Blueberries contain vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that provide notable health benefits. For example, blueberries are rich in vitamin K, which plays an important role in promoting heart health. The vitamin is also important to bone health and blood clotting. Mm hmm. I, um, it helps to lower the your high cholesterol, which is dangerous for your heart because it can build up in your arteries. The antioxidants in blueberries help prevent cholesterol in your blood from being oxidized and may even help keep cholesterol from building up in the first place. These are blueberries. They um, manage your blood pressure. Eating blueberries regularly can help reduce high blood pressure in people with metabolic syndrome and protect cardiovascular health. The current hypothesis Hypo, I'm sorry, the current hypothesis is that blueberries help the body reduce more nitric oxide, which reduces blood pressure inside blood vessels and helps with smooth muscle relaxation. The blueberries also control your blood sugar and helps you um, improve insulin sensitivity because insulin is a hormone that the pancreas needs to keep the blood sugar in the bloodstream regulated blueberries will help to regulate that okay let's look at the vitamin vitamin c vitamin k vitamin a manganese and then the antioxidants all right so that is it for the benefits of the juice but i do want to talk a little bit i want to talk a little bit about calcium today all right and, and I'm going to go briefly because I'm going to leave the show at an hour. So we have 11 minutes to discuss this. All right. Mm. Calcium. Calcium is a mineral that the body needs. Remember, we talked about macronutrients and we talked about micronutrients. This mineral that the body needs is a macro i believe macro micro the micronutrient but the body 
has minerals already in it because we are made from the earth. God created the human body. No person, not living or dead, can take credit for creating this amazing machine that we house, right? So with that, there are certain vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that the body needs to function every single day. Calcium is a mineral that the body needs, okay? So now, I want to tell us about what really matters when it comes to calcium because I'm realizing as we age, and a lot of times we don't want to do exercise to keep the body moving, keeping those nutrients flowing in the body properly. So what do we need to do? We need to get those from our food anyway. Calcium, when it comes to calcium absorption, there's a lot of contradictory information out there. A quick internet search for calcium supplements will return a ton of results, right? But anyone making these claims is either marketing their calcium or falling prey to a common misconception. Calcium, all types of calcium are absorbed very similarly. We'll go over what circumstances can affect absorption, right? So let's see. Some companies that claim their calcium is better absorbed are mistaking absorption for dissolution. Yet these are two very different mechanisms. Dissolution is your stomach acid dissolving the calcium salt when first ingested. Absorption is your intestines taking up the calcium after dissolution and sending it into your bloodstream. So those are two different words, but we need to see that dissolution is your stomach acid dissolving the calcium salt when first ingested. That's this dissolution. It just goes in and it's dissolving. But it does not mean that in absorption, your intestines are taking up that calcium after dissolution and sending it into your bloodstream. We want calcium, excuse me, that is absorbed in the intestines into the bloodstream. Why? When it comes to absorption, the science points in one direction. Studies show that all calcium salts absorb a few percentages. There's no wild variation in absorption rates depending on your source of calcium. Calcium carbonate, calcium citrate, calcium malate, it doesn't make a difference. There's no calcium on earth that absorbs at 90% or at 5%. They all absorb around 30%. Okay, so this drink that we're having, these muscadine grapes, those blackberries have calcium. So what is going on now our body is absorbing those nutrients and the calcium especially into the intestinal tract and going into the bloodstream and we're getting the calcium that we need to give us strong bones right although the source of calcium doesn't affect absorption rates there are a few factors that do so as we covered earlier, before you can absorb calcium, it needs to dissolve in your stomach. And to properly dissolve the calcium you consume, you need stomach acid. When you eat, you produce stomach acid, which is why we recommend it taking your proper, getting, keeping your pH levels right in your body. How do we keep our pH levels right in our body? We're eating antioxidant-rich foods. We're eating a lot of greens green vegetables, getting a lot of raw vegetables, that's raising your pH level. You're getting your battery charged. So we have to have our antioxidant rich foods and juices, but we also need to eat a lot of rich green, dark leafy green fruits and vegetables. Okay. So here we are. Two things. Calcium is both actively and passively, passively absorbed in the small intestine. Active absorption is what scientists call transcellular. This means calcium passes directly through the cells on its way to your bones. The other is passive absorption. On the other hand, it's paracellular. This means calcium takes a bit longer route and passes between 
cells, but the amount of calcium you absorb passively is quite small compared to the amount you absorb actively, and you need vitamin D to absorb calcium. Now, what did I tell us earlier about vitamin D? I said, when we go out for our walks, for those of you who cannot walk a lot, then go in your yard or go and sit out in the sun. When you at work, take a break. Instead of staying in the office and staying on the computer, you know, we shop a lot now. So instead of being on the computer shopping, why don't we go out and shop in the sun and allow the molecular structure and those sun rays to get into our skin so that we can be able to absorb the calcium from the foods that we eat, right? But what qualifies as adequate vitamin D? Studies show that an optimal blood level of vitamin D is around 250 HD. Um, that means that the test group pre-treated with vitamin D while the control group was not means that uh, when you get that vitamin D, you're taking in 65% more calcium. 65% more. So a lot of times people are saying, I'm taking this calcium supplement. I'm drinking my milk. I'm eating sardines. I'm eating all of these high dark green vegetables. For those of you who are not on beta blockers that can have dark green vegetables, I'm doing all of that. Well, then you need the sun. You need vitamin D. Okay. You need the sun, sunlight. All right, let me tell you all, because I'm going to get off of that, the top 10 calcium-rich foods, all right, and many of them are non-dairy. The top 10, broccoli, broccoli, okra, okra, bok choy, bok choy, pak chow, pak chow, kale, Dandelion greens, turnip greens, arugula, collard greens, watercress. The dark leafy greens literally bring to the table chlorophyll, which alkalinizes the blood. So that's your pH, raising your pH levels in your blood because of the chlorophyll. Like I said, you're getting those dark green vegetables. And again, for those of you who are on medication, prescribed medication, what you have to do is go to your doctor and ask them, is there something else that we can do? Because you're, you're needing that calcium. How many of you now that are on um, high blood pressure medication are now having problems with your bone density? Come on, y'all. I just want to help us. I don't want to be in the dark. I don't want us to be in the dark. So I am opening up our eyes. I'm shedding light on areas that have been darkened or gray for us. And all I'm saying is I hope this one video gets a million views because so many of us are in darkness. So many of us lack knowledge like I did when I was diagnosed with cancer. But I do this and I do the research and I take the time to do the shows. I go to the store to get what I'm hearing the spirit of truth tell me, get those now. Those are in season. Do juice from that. Why? Because we are in need of proper nutrition so that we can perform at peak performance and our bodies can get back to homeostasis, healthy, strong, vibrant. Isn't that what you want for yourself? Isn't that what you want for your family, your grandkids? Hmm. Yogurt has calcium. Almonds have calcium. Fortified soy and tofu. Canned fish, especially sardines. Sesame seeds can be put on salads. That produces calcium. Low-fat cheese can also do that. All right? I'm going to go over that list one more time, and then I'm going to tell y'all have a great day and love yourself and get your calcium and vitamin D in, okay? So now we know. When we take calcium in, we need vitamin D. We need sunlight to help us, right? Go early in the morning or as the sun is going down. 
You don't have to be in the sun at the highest point of the day because it can still damage the skin. But you and you, you don't want to put anything on your skin to block the rays from the sun. What are we doing? We can get early morning sunlight, late afternoon sunlight. OK, let's 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 have wisdom. Let's ask God. He says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask me. OK, I'm going to give you the, that list again and then I'm going to sign off because we are at one minute. The top 10 rich calcium foods, OK, or calcium rich foods. Broccoli, okra, bok choy, pak choy, kale, dandelion greens, turnip greens, arugula, collards, watercress, dark leafy greens, yogurt, almonds, fortified soy, tofu, canned fish, especially sardines, sesame seeds. When you put them on your salad, increases your calcium intake and low fat cheese. Guys, I just want to tell y'all, I wanted to do this show today for you because I am doing I, I have to do right for me and again 66 years old I am on no medication none at all why because I still know what to do that's right to take care of this body and all I'm asking y'all to do is love yourself enough get out of everybody else's business and what they doing and what they not doing let's get out of the pettiness that so easily besets us from focusing on us helping us to get all of that garbage out by putting good nutritious fruits vegetables seeds nuts beans and meat in our body and another thing at the end of this at the end of it all let's study our word let's study let's really study the word let's see what god says let's see what he says about our lives about us Love yourself this week. I love you, but God loves us more than any person in the earth and anything and any entity anywhere. And he left all of this goodness for us to take in to be the best version of ourselves. So guys, God bless you. I love you. Have a fantastic week. And you know what? It's a good day to have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye, Cairo.